lives within me, and He's holding me.
Now, I wanted to kind of add a little audio explanation in here. And the way I'm sort of looking at it, this is four corners. Maybe earth, so to speak. Four corners of earth, knowledge. And let's look at this as a tree, okay? Now, this tree puts off a fruit. Knowledge puts a fruit off of judgment, greed, vanity, and dead in spirit. Okay. Now... The tree of life it's off, and this is the thing. Uh, there's, I heard a song the other day, and it uh, said, they say that in uh, heaven love comes first. And I thought, well, you know, wow, that is the first fruit of this spirit, love. So then, this is where you know the, I come up with the eight corners, the eight spoke will, the well, I didn't come up with it, but it's been around for a very long but time. But the nine, I've talked about eights and nines and this and that, but um, love. These are all fruits of the tree of life, okay? And, and let's look at it like this. These are the emotions of heaven, okay? In heaven, there is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Okay? And so then, okay, but it's to be done on earth, on earth as it is in heaven, right? Okay, so then see this self-control. So what I, my point is, if there's self-control here, why is there no self-control here? All right? And what I'm going to... Let's just, just see. No self-control. Okay, well, why is there not any self-control? And then what I'm going to go to is back to Adam and Eve. Okay? Now, the first question God asked Adam was... Where are you? Okay, and this is my thing. The reason he asked, where are you, was because Adam was dead in spirit. You see, he died that day. Phys you know, he, he died spiritually because before he was connected with God. You see, he was here. But he become disconnected. Okay, so God asked him, where are you? All right, where are you? First question. All right, second question. Who told you you were naked. You ever thought about that? Who told you you were naked? Now, what I propose, like it, they don't like it, it was the voice in his head, in his head, right? And we call this voice ego. Okay? And just a little trick that I had learned many years ago. Ego stands for edging God out. E-G-O. Edging God out. So now, what I'm going to say is, ego is now in control. And the ego is driving the vanity, the greed, the judgment, the dead in spirit. You see, and then here is overcoming that. Does that make any kind of sense to anyone? See, who told you? You were naked. I know most of the times we think it was the serpent. It was the serpent. I'll tell you a funny little story real quick. I mean, that's pretty much all I got for this video. But uh, the other day someone was in my yard. And I have a pond in the back. And the garden's all around the pond. And there's lots of birds and trees and flowers and such as that. And the neighbor pulled in on a golf cart. And he looked at it and he's like, oh, wow, this is beautiful. And he says, ooh, I bet there's snakes here. And I thought about it for a moment. And I looked at him and I said, you know, I think every garden has a snake. So the point is find out who the snake is. You see, because these are the fruits versus you know, it, to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And, and here's our, our, our thing. If we cannot grasp these emotions here, you understand what I'm saying? A lot of people think that uh, ascension, rapture, whatever you want to call it, is going to miraculously change it. But see, that's the whole point of being here. Is overcoming this now. That's what qualifies you. Okay, just a thought in my little books. All right, have a good day. Okay, and then what I want to tell you, the ego is anti-Christ. You see, vanity, greed, judgment, okay, and between the tree of knowledge and the tree of life, heaven, is Christ. Okay? And Christ, through forgiveness, you see, through the blood, through forgiveness, he paid for the sins. 
And I'm going to throw this in real quick because I, I keep hearing this and I've been hearing it for a week or two just in my inner. Carrie, give it up. Hush. Singing. Well, is it C N? C N, which goes back to this. And I'm going to say the cube. I can draw another little box in here. You see, this is how Adam becomes separate from God, you see? And he see in, okay? And this is like a limitation. It's a limit on God, all right? But through Christ, through forgiveness, you see, least man reach out his hand and also take of the tree of life you see, start eating of the fruit of joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. Because here, you think it's self-control, but it's the worst kind. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, and so, freely you receive forgiveness, so freely you must give forgiveness. You see, because the forgiveness is opposite of the judgment part. You see, and through forgiveness, you can experience the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the gentleness, the goodness, the faithfulness, and the self-control. Heaven on earth. 